Well, the Ebola crisis has made stopping the spread of germs a top priority for many families. That's right, but do you know where the most germs are in your very own home? Consumer reporter John Hunteries has a safety alert so you don't waste your money. With Ebola in the headlines all the time now, we're suddenly more health conscious. We're washing hands more frequently, buying hand sanitizer, and watching what we touch. But there are some germ brewers in your home you probably haven't thought about. Where's the most bacteria growing in your home? Kitchen sink? Nope. Toilet seat? Nope. But you're close in both cases because a new report in the Huffington Post says kitchen and bath towels are some of the most germ-infested places in your home. The report cites a new University of Arizona study that found 89% of dish rags and kitchen towels carry coliform bacteria. And your bathroom towels, if you don't wash them often, are almost as bad. It recommends washing towels after three days of use, not three weeks, as <clears throat> many of us do. And from the Dozen That Stink file, the fact that many of us don't get all the bacteria off our towels when we wash them in the machine. If you wash them in cold or warm water with no bleach, they could still harbor some germs. And if you get sick, you'll say, doesn't that stink? The report suggests hot water and a small amount of bleach. Worried about ruining the color? Use vinegar instead. Bottom line, while none of this would really protect from Ebola, it can help prevent the spread of winter flu and cold germs and just might make your home a little cleaner. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's ABC Action News.